Alrighty, let's watch the full first. There's no sounds. Shoo. <laughs> nice. I like that. You got the uh, the tooth here. <laughs> that cracks me up. It's cool, cool, cool. Uh, that little thing's here and there. I think it's definitely a lot tighter. I think you mentioned something here about the head movement when he splits. He's not super happy here. I don't know, I would just maybe... I don't mind too much. Let me just bring this in a bit closer here. To me, what stood out was, uh, weirdly enough, this foot. As the character comes back, it seems very soft as it comes down with the toe first. And when it lands, it's straight at us, making this silhouette-wise a very tiny foot. Kind of like a, a stumpy thing where I would keep it somewhat either like this or there's no other angle, but you know, or the other way. But I'll just be careful with something like that. So all even with the shading, we kind of lose the structure of it. I think there's something ever so slightly soft when he lands here. And I know this is not a heavy chair and it's definitely not bolted down. It has to move. So this is this is a comment that I would say I don't even support it 100%. <laughs> but my feeling is that I will personally go in there and add a little bit of a linear key through there so it doesn't feel like it's just softly coming into this. I think what also adds to the softness is how, how that chair eases out of that, that position here. Again, not that this is made out of paper, but I, just, I would just think that there would be a harsher, faster impact. And you might argue, yeah, but it's the butt that gets to it first and only then is it reaching the backside and that's why it goes up. I can see that imaginary conversation, but there's something where subjectively I would give this just a slight harsher feel. Even this, as it comes back down, this is not... It feels like he's trying to get this down really, really softly. And it, that, especially here, I will go bring down fairly harshly with linear keys. So the mechanics are neat. I'm looking at the hands. There's maybe something really fast there. Watch out. Some interse intersection there. But I was looking at that finger. There's something about that arm coming down fairly fast and then schlucker-klung holding here. But it's not really, it's not like the thumb is on that chair here. Like, why is that suddenly holding here versus continuing to go up? So I would watch out for that. This feels a bit clunky where it kind of goes up and it's by that. I mean, the thumb here with that hand up and then suddenly over and then kind of intersecting through and then up there and then back down again. Just all of that and actually out again here. This all in real time gives a bit of a soft feel, a bit of an unfocused, as in, I would expect a tight grip, just like here. This, the, the screen right side feels better. Yeah, it feels better. It has some soft moments every now and then, but I feel like it feels better. That to me is the main, the main part. The other thing that struck me was a bit a hard hit on that head, which when that head goes down has that whip boom, feel to it so as that chin goes down here visually it just reaches that height which it kind of stays there then it goes up and has a little bit of side to side just a little bit there but if you watch this in real time it's a fairly snappy thing where i feel like that will be faster and the snappiness is what we need here as it hits that and the snappiness in the chair I think that's what I'm reacting to as well, which is this bit of a harshness through there. But this would only be so snappy and harsh if there was a, a harsher stop in the roots that made him go forward to recover there. Hope that makes sense. The only other thing here, it's maybe a bit strange. It looks to the side here. because so I like that he always keeps focus on the on whoever the threat is, but it feels like the eye line is shifting a lot. It's kind of over there. Then it's more to the side. Then it's a bit more straight on. Watch out. I would cheat that pupil so we can see it a bit more here. And then it's a bit more straight at us. 
but then it's really off to the side here. So I was watch out for that. Just give the character a bit more focus. But overall, very cool. I like that slip on that foot here, going back there. And the little details there, just being on the side and then tilting or pivoting off of there. There's a lot of cool stuff in it. So this is just kind of what I'm seeing here, as always, subjectively. Feel free to incorporate what you need. And that is that. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.